Hi everybody, this is Steve Gahagan here and you are looking at my desktop because I'm going to uh, show you how easy it is to do three things. Number one, purchase a domain name through GVO. Uh, number two, get that domain set up and running uh, in your GVO back office and on the web. And three, install a WordPress blog on your domain name so you can start uh, building a website there very easily. Now, I'm going to do this quickly because I want to show you how quickly you can do this and how easy this is. Uh, if I go too fast, the nice thing about video is you can always pause it and catch up. Uh, but these, this is basically the instructions that you're seeing on this page carried out and you're going to be watching my desktop the entire way. Now I've always wanted to purchase stevegehagen.net. I already have stevegehagen.com uh, and that's my main website and I've never gotten around to purchasing .net so I'm going to do it today and we're going to just go through this. Uh, I will be using RoboForm. Now RoboForm has all my information for filling out forms and for navigating between websites uh, and things like that so I'm able to go very quickly from website to website and uh, and you know if I lose you here just <laughs> remember I'm not typing in all my logins and my passwords because I don't have to but here we go alright first thing you're gonna wanna do to do this is to uh, log into your GVO back office which is where I am right now now you're going to wanna go from this page to the domain registration just click on that and now you have two choices click here to register your domain uh, and click here to access your web host manager. We're going to register the domain first. We need the domain before we can start working on it. So we click here. A new window will open up. We're going to maximize that window. Now, if you do not have a domain registration account yet, all you have to do is start setting this, uh, start searching for the domain name you want. And when you find it, if it's available, you can purchase it and uh, you'll create an account there. I have an account, so I'm going to uh, log into that account right here. And uh, we will, the next thing is, we'll be in my, uh, my account at GVO Domain Registration. And it'll show you that I have stevegehagen.com registered here. And what I want to find is Steve Gehagen put it in this little box right here dot net I might as well have that one as well and I'm just gonna tell it to go search and there it is stevegehagen.net is available now I just I, I can add other ones to it dot uh, com is on back order because I already own it and by back order it means you're paying for it when it's released and it'll be uh, re you'll be notified when it's released but I have that one already I want .NET, and I don't care about these at this moment. We're just going to go on. This gives me a lot of uh, nice, interesting suggestions down here, <laughs> like Steve Stifle Hagen. I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> Steve Muzzle Hagen. That might be a good idea. Steve Throttle Hagen. That's that's a that's a good one too. Steve Stephen Gag Hagen. Garot Hagen. That's a nice one. I like that one. <laughs> It gives you all sorts of inter, you know, interesting suggestions down here. But I just want the one thing. And I'm going to add that to my cart and proceed to checkout. All right. And this will take me to a checkout page. Um, I, now, I just uh, the simplest thing is just to get the domain for a year. It will automatically renew. Um, I don't care if the domain is certified or not. There's a lot of other things you can add on to this and make it... Uh, you know, more expensive um, with uh, bells and whistles, and you can look into what those are. But um, the fact of the matter is, I'm going to go down here and say, don't show me these deals, just uh, take me to checkout. I just want my domain name. So we're going to continue, and this will show me my cart, my shopping cart, um, and I have in there .NET domain registration, stevegehagen.net, um, for one year. And it's a public domain, fourteen ninety five, fifteen thirteen is the is the in, uh, total price. All right, now we had a little bit of a break there, and the only reason we had a break was because uh, on that page we were on before, I needed to put in my um, credit card numbers, and uh, I want to help you guys, but I don't necessarily want to help you by giving all of my credit card numbers out in this video. So we stopped the video for a second, and it was a simple. Uh, payment page and you click the bot uh, put your information in click the button at the bottom and you're right back here now you see we have um, 
added the domain stevegehagen.net to the one that was already here and we purchased our domain we are done except for one thing and I want to run through this very quickly if you joined GVO after September 1st you don't need to pay any attention to this at all if you joined GVO before September 1st you have one other step that you need to do here uh, I'm going to pop us back to our GVO office right now for a moment and I'm going to click right here to changing your DNS and that's going to show you right here our GVO name servers uh, if you joined uh, GVO before September 1st these are not the name servers you want to use uh, what you'll need to do is redirect the name servers for this new account to the kiosk name servers it's very easy to do just click here on advanced details website will open up and over on the left hand side you'll see name servers you just simply need to select manage the name servers you'll get a pop-up window and the pop-up window uh, you'll select I host my domains with another provider and you'll put in the two name servers for kiosk that's ns1.kioskdns.com and ns2.kioskdns.com and then you'll click, click OK I don't want to change this so I'm going to, to uh, click cancel and once you're done with that we go back to my account and uh, there we are again right there with our two domains all set up and pointing correctly now once again if you joined uh, GVO after September 1st you do not need to do that last step you've already got the GVO DNS set up correctly so this is uh, where we are at the moment we have just purchased our domain and uh, now we will go on to the next step